It hasn't been a straight, narrow path. There's been so many obstacles, so many ups and downs. Rockford is one of those places that builds a lot of character. A lot of my classmates and friends and even family that kind of fell into the wrong side of things, it's way easier to walk that way. The hardest thing to do is rise above that. You know, we're at such a disadvantage from day one that you grow with that. Five years old, my dad's killed. You know, boom, that's the sense of how real things can get. I started really getting into basketball at five. It becomes an integral part of my life. All the way till I leave for college, this is, this is where the battles were. This is actually the nicer hoop that we got later on. We had one before it had both sides of the backboard were broken off. A lot of those layups and stuff you see now started out here. This was our heaven right here growing up. It's just me, my mom, my older brother Darnell for five, six years. Fast forward to moving over here with Joe, you know, all these rules, that drastic culture shift kind of was a shock for me. We had some 5 a.m. wake ups. Somehow that turned into uh, basketball training a little later on. I remember I couldn't dunk this. This is it, it's Auburn High School, baby. It's kind of where I was carved out into who I am today. It feels like so long ago. Every time I walk back in, I get the same feeling. That'll never go away. That's where it all started. Were you trying to shape into who you want to be as a young adult? That was a challenge for me, just, you know, I just wanted to hoop and have fun with my friends. You have to have the grades to get into college. That was the one thing that kind of kept me focused throughout. It's 2012, Auburn Knights, third place finish. It's our first time going back down state in like 60 some years. Not the best looking team in the world, you know what I mean? Not really too many tall guys. Man, we were tough, we were tough and we scrapped and we fought. They thought it was good enough to put it up here in the case. The NBA draft was a huge tough step. You gotta imagine you work your whole life for this moment and you just envision yourself walking up there in a nice suit, hugging your mom, shaking hands with your brother, going and shaking the commissioner's hand and putting the hat on. And uh, for me to not hear my name called, that was, a, that was a huge pivotal moment. I just use it as another motivation to pick myself back up and go even harder. I'm, I'm by myself? Oh, okay. I gotta play 10 of y'all? Next day, got back to work and started focusing on Toronto. <laughs> Becoming a great college player, making it to the NBA, winning a championship, like that stuff was stuff that I dreamed of in the backyard. And to see all those things happen is really like living a dream come true. Pam. These streets that I walk, the city that I come from, what I've been through, trials, tribulations, that's what makes you up into who you are.